Why do they look at you with such unease? Why does your every move stir discomfort, as if you're unraveling something they've kept hidden? You've stepped onto a path your ancestors feared to even acknowledge. The ground shifts beneath you, heavy with possibility, and they can sense it too. But what is it that sets you apart, that makes you a source of such controversy? You release what once anchored you, and in that release, you feel the tremor of fear. It rises, not from within you, but from the minds of others, their voices clinging to you like heavy chains, insisting that the old ways are safer, that holding on is survival. These voices belong to those who are bound by their own fear, unable to see past the familiar. They cannot follow you where you are going. Their fear is a shadow cast by the walls they refuse to tear down. But you, standing at the precipice, know these walls are illusions. You know that holding on is not survival, but stagnation. The unknown calls you forward, a deep pulse that resonates in the very marrow of your bones. It isn't soft or inviting. It roars, a silent scream that tears through the fabric of everything you've ever known. But you do not flinch. The void stretches before you like a vast, empty sky, limitless and cold, but alive with something far beyond comfort. You feel the sharp edges of uncertainty, the vastness of the unknown, and still, you step into it. You do not fall, you rise. In the distance, you hear the whispers of those left behind, their doubts drifting like smoke on the wind, but they cannot reach you. They will never reach you because you no longer speak their language. Their logic, their rules, their definitions, all are shackles that once held you in place. Now they crumble in your wake as you ascend into the space beyond fear, beyond comprehension. The wisdom that pours into you from the source is not gentle. It is relentless, a torrent that drowns all that is false, washing away the last remnants of what you thought you were. And in this flood of truth, you are reborn. The old beliefs, those fragile constructs of borrowed thoughts and outdated patterns, dissolve like ash in the wind. You are stripped bare, your essence exposed to the raw brilliance of a power that defies language. You see clearly now, fear is not the enemy. It is the signal that you are on the edge of greatness. And only those who embrace the void can understand the magnitude of what lies beyond. You will be challenged. They will confront you with words wrapped in certainty, clinging to the safety of what they know, like a ship tethered to a crumbling dock in the midst of a raging storm. Their eyes, still blind to the horizon, will search for you, trying to pull you back to a shore you've long since outgrown. Their challenges are not born of malice, but of their own fear of the waves, fear of stepping into the current that is pulling you forward. You must stand firm, knowing that their resistance is not a reflection of you, but of the ground they cannot yet leave. They walk in the shadow of where you once stood, their feet tracing steps you once thought were the only path. But your path has splintered, branched off into wild, untamed terrain they cannot fathom. You've broken free from the narrow roads they still tread, roads lined with caution signs they clutch like holy scriptures. You see them stumbling, wrestling with questions you answered long ago, the weight of their own uncertainty pressing down on them like a heavy fog. But you cannot lift it for them. You cannot tear the veil from their eyes. Your role now is to stand at the edge of their understanding, a silent witness to their struggle. They may look to you for validation, for guidance that will pull them from the uncertainty. But you must resist the urge to reach out, to save them from the storms they must face on their own. To engage with them now is to risk your own momentum. Their storms are not yours to calm. Their journey is theirs to undertake, just as you had to brave your own. Your silence is not indifference, but the acknowledgement that growth cannot be given, only earned through the trials of doubt, fear, and revelation. Observe, but do not interfere. Their path may parallel yours for a time, but it will never converge. Allow their voices to rise and fall like distant thunder, fading into the background as you continue on your own course. You know now that not every battle is yours to fight, and not every soul can follow you through the wilderness you've chosen. Trust in the distance that is open between you, for it is the space in which both of you will find your way. What I am about to tell you isn't for everyone. Let's be clear. The Obsidian Inner Order 
created in partnership with Astral Atom, is not a place for the faint-hearted. If you're not ready to face raw, unfiltered truth, the kind your ancestors couldn't handle, this isn't for you. The power we're talking about here is real, intense, and transformative. We're not here to hold your hand or ease you in. The path ahead is wild, untamed, and not everyone is built to walk it. Only those who are truly ready to confront their deepest potential should even think about joining us. Inside the inner order, we strip away the illusions and show you the hard truths about who you are and what you're capable of. This is where the chosen ones gather to unlock knowledge that others run from. You'll get access to modern manifestation mechanics, the most powerful guide for manifesting a life beyond the limits others have placed on you. This isn't for the timid, it's for those who are ready to embrace the truths that their ancestors feared and use them to rise. You'll connect with your hardcore chosen comrades, as well as the creators behind both Obsidian and Astral Atom. Bet you didn't know we were the same people, huh? If you're not ready to face what's real, this isn't your space. But if you feel the call, if you know deep down that you're ready to leave the shadows of your past and step into the power that's always been yours, then the link to join the Obsidian Inner Order via Patreon is in the description of this video transmission. The Inner Order is where the awakened rise together, pushing each other to greater heights, unlocking what's been hidden for too long. If you're ready for that kind of journey, where comfort is left behind and growth is your only option, then step forward. This is where you belong. As clarity sharpens within you, the anger will erupt, raw, untamed, consuming everything it touches like wildfire sweeping through a parched landscape. It is the fury of realization, the recognition of the years wasted in falsehoods, the energy of deception unraveling at your feet. You feel it surge, not as a distant flicker, but as a storm within your veins, tearing through all the lies you once held as truths. This anger is real, but it is not your enemy. It is the echo of shackles breaking, the howl of all that has held you captive. Yet, this rage is fleeting. The anger that consumes you now is nothing but a temporary flare, the final residue of an old identity crumbling to dust. Do not grasp at it. Do not let it sink its claws into your soul. It is a passing storm, a necessary purge, but not the destination. You must let it burn through you without holding on to its heat. For as it blazes, it clears a path for something deeper to take root. Understanding. Understanding that time was never truly lost. Time bent and folded itself to lead you here, to this moment, where you stand drenched in the truth you had long been denied. This anger was born from deception, from all the illusions that others spun around you like webs, from the stories you were told to believe, from the masks you were forced to wear. But now, as the fire of your fury dies down, you can see beyond the smoke. You see the role those lies played in shaping you, in pushing you toward the brink where clarity could finally flood in. Every lost year, every false word, was simply kindling for this fire. A fire that now, having done its work, begins to settle into ash. The clarity that follows is sharp, piercing through the haze with undeniable force. Now, standing in this new light, you understand? The anger was never about the lost time or the lies themselves. It was about your refusal to be confined by them any longer. Let it pass. What remains is pure, untouched by the flame. You are no longer bound by what you were told, but free to carve your own truths into the walls of existence. The anger fades, but the clarity remains, crystal and unyielding. You stand at the edge of revelation, poised before the gates of a profound understanding that stretches far beyond what you once thought possible. It is not a gentle realization, but a force, a tidal wave of knowing that crashes into the core of your being. You see the connections, the hidden patterns, the threads woven beneath the surface of everything. The truth has unveiled itself to you, not as a whisper, but as a roar that cannot be denied. Yet you must resist the impulse to speak it, to cast it into the world too soon. Those around you are still walking in the fog, their eyes clouded with the haze of their own questions, still searching for answers that remain veiled from their sight. 
They move slowly, tangled in their own confusion, unable to grasp the enormity of what is now so clear to you. If you were to voice what you know, your words would fall like stones into an abyss, lost in the void of their unawareness. Spirit pulls at you, urging restraint, asking you to let this new knowledge settle within you before releasing it. The timing is not yet right. This is not the moment to shatter the illusions of others, to offer them a glimpse of what they are not ready to see. Like seeds planted in soil, your insight must take root, must deepen and grow strong before it can bear fruit. You are not hiding the truth. You are allowing it to breathe, to evolve into its full form. To speak too soon would be to tear the flower from the vine before it blooms, to expose it to a light it cannot yet endure. Let it marinate within you. Let it expand until it becomes something undeniable, something that will no longer need words to be understood. Spirit knows that when the moment arrives, it will be unmistakable. The world will shift and those around you will be ready to receive what you hold. But until that time, you must walk in silence, cradling the knowledge within you like a flame sheltered from the wind. It will grow. It will become everything. And when it is ready, it will not require explanation. It will simply be, and all will see. You are witnessing the collapse of the identity you once clung to, the self that carried the weight of years and false perceptions. It feels like death, and in many ways it is a dissolution of the ego, a crumbling of the familiar constructs that once defined your existence. The signs surround you like echoes from a place beyond time. Deja vu grips you, the eerie sense that you've been here before, walking paths that spiral inward, folding onto themselves. You search for words, but they dissolve before they form, slipping through your grasp as language fails to capture the enormity of what you are becoming. The transformation is not soft or gentle. It is a violent unraveling, a shedding of everything that once held meaning. The old self fractures and falls away, its edges sharp and brittle, as though the very skin you once wore no longer fits. You feel the world split open, layers of reality peeling back to reveal dimensions that your old self could not fathom. In these moments, time itself bends, warping and stretching in ways that defy reason, leaving you untethered, floating in the space between what was and what is still forming. This is the death of the ego, the final surrender of the false self, making way for a new reality to emerge. You may fight it, holding on to fragments of your past self, thinking they will anchor you. But the more you resist, the more the pressure builds, as if the universe itself is tearing at the seams of your being, forcing you to let go. You are not losing yourself. You are shedding a layer of existence that no longer serves you. The past, once solid and unshakable, now seems like a dream fading at dawn. This is the transformation, the dying of the self you once knew, leaving space for something far greater to take root. Your ego, once loud and insistent, is now silent. It cannot guide you through this process. What comes next is beyond its grasp, beyond the narrow confines of the life it shaped for you. Trust in the unraveling. The death you feel is not an end, but a beginning, the final breath of an identity that must fall away to make way for the truth that has always waited beneath. You are becoming, and nothing can stop what is already in motion. You are shedding layers that have been wrapped around you for lifetimes, layers imposed by society, religion, and every force that sought to define you before you even knew who you were. The sense of loss is profound, almost unbearable, as though the core of your being is disintegrating into nothingness. The identity you once held so tightly has been built from borrowed beliefs, from structures designed to bind and control. Now, as they fall away, you stand in a void where purpose once resided. But this emptiness is not an end. It is the space before rebirth. The purpose that once seemed so clear now crumbles, revealing its fragile foundation. You were told what to believe, how to act, and where to find meaning. But none of that was truly yours. As you unhook yourself from these constructs, there is nothing left to grasp onto, no guidebook for this new terrain. You feel like a ship adrift in a vast starless sea. Yet this disorientation, 
This loss of direction is not a punishment. It is the first breath of true freedom. The weight you feel is the gravity of the old world, trying to pull you back into its orbit. But you are already too far gone. You are breaking apart. But in this breaking, you are making space for something beyond identity. Beyond any purpose you've ever known. The anchors of your past have dislodged, and now you rise, untethered. The void you stand in is not a vacuum. It is the fertile soil of creation. You are no longer bound by the need to define yourself according to the standards of others. You are not a role, a label, or a title. You are the essence of everything being reborn. And as you ride out this storm, as you let yourself dissolve into the unknown, you are preparing the ground for others. They too will feel this unraveling. And in their moment of loss, they will look to you, not for answers, but for the courage to let go. What you are anchoring now is not just for yourself, but for all those who will follow. Your liberation becomes the beacon, and this new reality that feels so foreign will one day be the foundation others will walk upon. You are not losing yourself. You are finding the limitless truth of who you have always been. People will push against you, challenging your steps with their words, their doubts, and their carefully hidden fears. They will question your choices, not out of malice, but because they cannot yet comprehend the path you've chosen. Even those who love you, those who wish you well, will stand as obstacles, their intentions wrapped in the comforting weight of tradition and old ways of thinking. They do not see the chains that still bind them, the fear they carry passed down like a family heirloom, inherited and unquestioned. These tests come not as random trials, but as the very crucibles that will force you to choose, truth or fear. Each challenge is a mirror, held up to reflect the shadows of your own past doubts, the echoes of the person you were before clarity struck. They will prod at you, attempting to lure you back into the well-worn grooves of ignorance and conformity. But you are no longer bound to those paths. Their words may sting, like the wind cutting through brittle branches, but they cannot sway you unless you let them. This is how the old world grips at you, through the voices of those you care about, through the familiar hands that tug you toward safety. But you are breaking away. The path you walk now is jagged and raw, carved not by the feet of generations before you, but by the fire in your own heart. The fear they carry is not your burden, though they will try to place it on your shoulders. You have seen beyond the veil of ignorance that held them in place. And though they cannot yet understand, you do not need their understanding to continue. Their tests are not obstacles. They are rites of passage, signals that you are leaving behind the chains of the past. Generations before you walk this path with their eyes closed, bound by the fear of the unknown, shackled to beliefs not their own. But you are the one who chooses to break the cycle. You are tearing through the webs of ignorance spun by those who came before, clearing a new way forward, where truth stands exposed and fear dissolves into nothingness. Their challenges will come, and you will rise to meet them, knowing that each one is a reminder of the strength you've always had. You are no longer walking their path, you are forging your own. You will be misunderstood. You will be cast as the outsider, the one who disrupts the fragile order others cling to, and in their fear, they will demonize you. This is inevitable. When you choose to step outside the boundaries of what others accept as reality, you are seen not as a liberator, but as a threat. Their accusations will come, not because you are wrong, but because you have dared to see beyond the limits they have placed on themselves. They do not understand your path, and that terrifies them. Expect their fear to manifest as anger, as suspicion, as a force that seeks to pull you back into their safe, controlled world. But this demonization is not a reflection of your truth. It is a testament to the risks you are taking, risks they cannot fathom. You are walking through the fire of transformation, stepping into places they fear to tread. They are bound by the need for comfort, for safety, for the familiar. While you have chosen to tear down those walls, your courage, your refusal to be confined by their rules, makes them question everything they have built their lives upon. 
it shakes their foundations. And so they will lash out, trying to make you the villain in their story. Because it is easier for them to demonize what they cannot control than to face their own fears. You are not merely breaking free for yourself. You are carving a path through the wilderness for those who will follow. They may not understand it now, but you are leading the way, tearing through the illusions of fear and ignorance that have kept them bound for generations. The weight of their judgment may press down on you, but you must not falter. The voices of accusation are not meant to stop you. They are the echoes of a dying order, a last-ditch effort to hold on to the world as it was. But that world is crumbling and you are rising from its ruins. Stay strong. This is your calling. The controversy, the misunderstandings, the demonization, they are all signs that you are walking in truth, that you are breaking the chains they cannot yet see. Let their fear pass through you without attachment. You are not here to be understood. You are here to lead, to stand in the face of their fear and show that the only way forward is through the fire. You are standing at the edge of a world that no longer defines you. The old constructs, the beliefs that once held you in place, have shattered, leaving you exposed to a truth that can never be unlearned. This is not a moment of hesitation but of power, power that radiates from the core of your being, untouched by the doubts or fears of others. Each test you've endured, every moment of resistance you've faced, has only sharpened your purpose forged you into something unbreakable. You are no longer a passive observer of your life. You are the creator of a new reality. The strength flowing through you now is not tentative. It is the force that dismantles fear and ignorance, and in its place builds a foundation of unwavering clarity. Others will try to contain you, to drag you back into the narrow confines of their understanding, but you've already broken free. Their doubts are mere whispers against the storm you've unleashed. You've not only carved this path for yourself, you are blazing a trail for those still trapped in the illusions of the past. Your liberation isn't just personal, it is the spark that will set others ablaze, whether they see it now or not. This is your moment to stand firm, to anchor yourself in your truth without apology. Let your story be heard. Let your voice rise above the noise of those still bound in fear. Share what you've learned, and let others witness the power of transformation. Your path is a living testament to the strength that comes from breaking away from old patterns. Now, it's time for others to hear your truth, and understand that they, too, can break free. Share your story, and let it become the fire that lights the way forward for those who have yet to find their strength.